Adam Reaching Out is defined by two concepts. One is reverse genealogy, and that's essentially tracing everybody who ever left your local, uh, local area and tracing them and their descendants around the world and inviting them back into the local community. Hello. Hello. How are I'm you? I'm Jennifer. You're Jennifer. I'm Jennifer. I'm Jennifer. <laughs> The second concept is about meet and greet. People come into villages all over Ireland searching their roots and they have no one to meet. And it makes an enormous difference if there's someone to bring them to the house where they, their people were born, the land that they farmed, show them the graveyard where they were where they're buried, their people were buried, and it, if at all possible, bring them down to the local pub and introduce them to living relatives, because that creates a living connection between Ireland and its diaspora today. My name is Eileen Raftery, and I'm from New York. My father emigrated from Mount Belia, Galway. My mother emigrated from Kilmaine uh, in Mayo. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have a lot of family here in Ireland, including Maynooth, where we are now. Pauline, you are so welcome. We've rolled out into a th over a thousand parishes and have about three and a half thousand volunteers around Ireland that, are, that will take a query that okay. comes in on the website and ans actually answers and meet people. The uh, website has been great for us who are looking for our ancestry past the first generation um, and for those who aren't as fortunate as I am to have direct family here, um, aunts and uncles to visit to come over to Ireland. It's the volunteer that knows all about their parish. They know, for example, what parish records are available. They know the locations of all the local graveyards. They, they know the names of indiv individual fields and roads in an area. They know where people went to school and where they went to church. And it's that type of local information and local resource that's hugely beneficial and valuable to Ireland reaching out. Many Americans will find the website Ireland Reaching Out incredibly helpful and interesting um, to be able to find the parish and to be able to ask questions, to post questions, to get answers from the volunteers um, and to have a community where they can trace their genealogy and their ancestry will be very, very helpful for them. So all of these are yeah. listed on the 1901 census as scholars. Right. People who are coming to an individual parish can be connected they will be met by someone and that person will be knowledgeable about the area. And it's really from, from these types of connections that strong bonds of friendship can grow. And that's all based on, on a connection that people will have with an Ireland Reaching Out volunteer. So for example, you know, people will travel to Ireland to see the country and they'll come from America and Australia and they'll come from as far away as Ar Argentina and Peru and from the UK and Canada. But ultimately they're coming to the parish they're coming to Tulla and to Terry Glass and to Mukno and to Kilmallock, all because of relationships that have been built on Ireland reaching out.